you've you get you've got a lot of grants um, and money from grants that's allowed you to go and visit a lot of these mm. countries. What what's that process been like? Um, has that been too difficult? And then on top of that, I guess just out of curiosity, what kind of countries have you been to? <laughs> what, what was the most interesting? What was the most bizarre? Mm. Um, just those type of. Things. Uh, very interesting. Um. Again, let's talk about the funding, very challenging, mm. obviously. Um, the way I've been able to manage things is that when people invite me to come to, for example, Australia or Congo or Gambia, they buy my flight yeah, ticket, ticket, obviously, yeah. and um, they arrange the hotel. And, mm. and, and if there's... Um, um, it's not all the time that they... You get money uh, like you you've been paid. For mm. me, I'm doing this because it's my it's passion, passion yeah. and I'm doing it again for the community. I'm doing it for the girls and all that. So, and I know my husband always challenged me and said, "You do most of the things for charity. Yeah, what about paying paid? your bills and things?" <laughs> and for me, I really enjoy that. Yeah. Bit. So again, there's no huge money there. Yeah. And um, I do have, even up to last week, I do have different organizations writing to me and say, can you support us? We mm. need funding. We want to do A, B, C, D. And what I've been able to do is direct them to the different right to um, to. organizations that I have links with that can maybe support them in terms of funding. And we have... Um, WhatsApp groups with yeah. other young people, especially in media, back in Nigeria, Somalia, Kenya, and um, there's another one in Sierra Leone. So my phone is always jam-packed because yeah. I work always very getting, closely yeah, I with imagine. this. So again, in terms of funding, I always say, which this is the honest truth, if I win the lottery today, mm. all my money will go on charity. Mm. I will support all the people working in the grassroots. Yeah. Because where we're failing is, we go to Africa, do five years um, project what's once the five years project finishes what happens yeah exactly yeah. so they have to be it has to be ongoing term, again yeah. not only on fgm reproductive health and yeah. looking at other issues as well you ask about countries that i've been to i've been to so many countries yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. um <laughs> canada australia and which one i'm trying to see Ah, the one that really, really, this might sound silly yeah. as an as a, um, as somebody that grew up in Nigeria myself, yeah. but when I went to Njimina in Chad, yeah. it was nice. We, we went to work. With, this one was really to work with the midwives to look at their policies and help them on their um on birth centers and so on. And we met lots of the um. Um, the midwives and the senior midwives and the heads and all that. But unfortunately, this was the time where they had infest infestation of um, cricket, rickets. Okay. Oh okay. my oh, god! Yeah. And this was everywhere, everywhere yeah. in the country. Yeah. <laughs> and they were trying to control it. And then uh, we went to meet the uh, minister of health, mm. and in his office. Your crickets. <laughs> there were these things flying, yeah. and this really kills me. Yeah. And everybody was looking at me, thinking, "What's wrong with you? Are you not an African woman or something?" I was like yeah, was just jumping, yeah. and so I would never. I, I I even took photographs, videos, and yeah. things, and it, that that's. And again, when I went to Somali land, again seeing roaches flying, and mm. I get really, really. So you, I guess you're not one for bugs then. <laughs> I know. Okay. 